Welcome to the 16 Ounce Cinema Podcast. Hello and welcome to 16 Ounce Cinema, where we drink pints and talk pictures. I'm here with Angus. Hello. And somewhere lurking around is Michael. Hey, everybody. Hi. And, um, well, now, last last episode we had a tie. Uh, and anytime we have a tie, our theme is determined from Event Horizon, um, which is actually kind of nice because this is our um, season finale. So we're, we're ending the season dun, dun, on dun. a Event Horizon episode, which is awesome. Um, we'll, we'll come back to you after the holidays, you know, late January, February. We haven't worked out the dates yet. As uh, soon as fucking we'll possible. Absolutely. Um, as soon as the only one with us of us with a family. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, yeah, as soon as you're ready. The, the kid and the wife and yeah. You know, Which I think in my opinion will be in like hours. in like 6 days. He'll be like I'm ready to record right now. Yeah, he's he's already done with them at that point. <laughs> I'm already looking at the calendar for when I can get back, yeah. Um so for this episode, um it's event horizon related and now um Angus and I had both been eyeing this one um, extra. <laughs> He's credited as Man on Fire <laughs> um, at Event Horizon. Uh, his name is Noah Huntley. So we're dedicating uh, an episode to him. Can I just say that, like, Man on Fire or whatever, or Guy on Fire, is, like, my second favorite credit to your hunk in library <laughs> from, yeah. like, forever ago? That's a really good one. <laughs> hunk in library, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I've been years. I've been thinking about Noah Huntley so much that I forgot that he's just man on fire in Event Horizon, not like a main <laughs> character. Thought he was like a major player. Yeah, he's been like a main I, actor forever in my head now for like the last two weeks. I've done the same thing, like <laughs> because, like, it, I've seen ah, his fuck, I've seen man. his fucking picture like seven yeah. or eight times. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. that's that guy. Yeah, I can't I, like, stop know him looking so at him. well now. I'm like, well, this guy's a, a, a known B-lister at least. <laughs> <laughs> I follow him. <laughs> <laughs> um, he didn't um, reciprocate. Let's, let's jump into it. We'll, maybe we'll get back to that you know, later. <laughs> we'll talk some more about Noah and the ins and outs of that. Stay tuned for, for that little bit. Um Getting right into our, our beers, Angus. What did you What are you bringing for this uh, Man on Fire episode? Well, I try to find something like kind of like fiery related, but I knew. Oh, I didn't even sucked. think about that. That's smart. <laughs> That's really smart. There, but I honestly couldn't find anything. Um, this is the best thing I could find. It's by Noble Ray Brewing Company, and it's called. Tactical Combat Firefighter. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, so this is the guy that would put him out. Like, if he saw him on fire, he would put Noah <laughs> nice. out. He's like, you'll be okay, Noah, just hold still. And it is a American India Pale Ale, so you guys know how I do with Pale Ales. You're going to love it. I'm going to yeah. fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a 6.2 alcohol by volume. And what it says is watch your six and squirt on down to, and then it just gives their address, squirt? which is apparently in Dallas. Why is everybody so squirting? I, I don't like the squirt. I, I can go visit this place. Cool. All right. So I have um, Sola IPA. It's also an India pale ale. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, I caught my eye cause for two reasons. First, the logo kind of looks like a sun. Um, also it's brewed out of Wynwood, Miami. Wynwood is kind of like their, not, not, I want to say art district, but like we had a lot of people recommend us to go there cause it, it's, I don't know, maybe hipsterish or something, but they said they had really good food down there when my wife and I were there for a weekend a couple months ago. Um, but we, we didn't make it. So when I was like, oh, okay, well this is sort of. You know, like a souvenir that from a place I didn't get around to getting to. Um, and what it says, it's a 6.8, by the way. It's like the sun's rays. Sola IPA glows with a golden veil. Your story um, wanna, your about... story made me want to kill myself until you told me that you didn't go there. <laughs> and then I liked it a lot. 
<laughs> and I was like, that made the whole story, actually. <laughs> um, it talks about the hops, but then it says juicy and tropical, so that, you know, I guess... 90% of the beers I've had have had some sort of tropical yeah. slant. So, All right. So, Can I go back to sorry. mine real quick? Yes. I guess. Because I didn't talk about, like, the actual image on it. Um, On one side, there's, like, the guy's face, and he's, like, just a firefighter with, like, a red nose and, a like, a goatee. And he's got, like, these sunglasses on looking badass. And then when you turn it over, it shows the rest of his body. And he's got an Uzi in one hand shooting, and then a fire hose in the other squirting. <laughs> and the man has, like, fucking, I just counted, 17 little fucking, like, pocket holsters. Nice. Like, just holding Whoa. random objects. Like, knives and shit? Because he's so awesome? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> they're, they're like the little, like, fucking packs, like, you know, like, every character in the 90s comic books used to have. And they have them, like, all over their belts and shit. He has mm-hmm. 17 of them. <laughs> I don't know what's in them, but I'm Beers sure it's and cool. Band-Aids. Beers and Band-Aids. <laughs> and knives. So... My yeah. beer is uh is uh, the, the tri- we're now a hipster beer podcast because we each have an India oh, we, pa- we have an India pa- we all oh. three of us have an India pale ale from different fucking countries. Oh, wow. Mine is from it, Belgium. Beer, yours so is American yeah. and yours is just general uh, India. So mine is the uh, I chose the uh, Jupiter Florida's Monk IPA because Ooh. I'm watching a somewhat fantasy fantasy based movie and it has a monk fantasy, on it. Fantasy fantasy. Also uh the, the the since we're talking about images on the on the beer, mine has a monk that looks exactly like the actor Toby Jones who's in my movie <laughs> and that's awesome. He's got Toby that Jones. He's that guy that kind of looks like a frog if the frog mother he, drank a lot of beer. Um, was in He was in Captain America in the first one, and then in Winter Soldier, he was the one that was, like, the big computer head, like the Wizard of Oz dude. Oh, yeah, he was the Wizard of Oz dude. Um, He's in a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's in a whole shitload of stuff, including the movie I watched. And Christopher Robin, not that anyone cares, but he's in that. Oh, okay. (laughs) Let's let's open up our India Pale Ales from three (laughs) different fucking countries. Wait, did you say countries? Well, like mine's a Belgian pe- uh, India pale ale or something. Yours is an American s- style, and his is just oh, okay. a regular one. Yeah. Like you have a loose description of these being from different countries when two are from Florida and one's from Texas. What, okay. the yeah, styles, I was say they're all they're in the, the same country. Styles, the different stylistic <laughs> countries. You guys are weird. No, it's funny because I caught that the first time, but I ignored it because I'm like, oh, maybe he did say, like, counties or something, and I just <laughs> no. misheard. That wouldn't even make sense. There's a lot of counties in America. <laughs> well. So. All right, let's do it. Okay. Um, so, Angus, you go first this episode. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Great. Back to you, TJ. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have to say. There's no foam, no head. Um, it immediately smells like tropical and fruity, so I didn't even need to have to read that to know. And, yeah, it tastes... Tropical and fruity, not mine, too dry. Mine, ni- I like it. Neither has the fun of the Belgian style that I love, nor the bitterness of the IPA. So it's just kind of a double disappointment, I guess. Oh, you might as well drink water. It's basically like Jupiter, Florida. It's a disappointment. So perfect. <laughs> Local reference. Hey. All right. Um, Let's watch some can, movies. Can, it's good hiking up oh, there. Oh, Angus wants park. to do something again. I was just going to say, like, I, I said it's terrible, but it's better than the Terrapin. I'll give it that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't yeah. like that brewery. It's fucking awful. Oh, shit. That's the one that got me. All right. All right. Let's talk about movies. Yeah. Let's do it. Angus? Okay, so... Uh... Shit, I don't even know where to begin with this. <laughs> <laughs> it was Noah uh, Huntley in your movie. He he was in my movie, of course. Sweet. Um, it's just so weird that this was the fucking the the way the last show ended, where we just decided this man would be our theme for our going out like first year. Is <laughs> <was> fucking hilarious. <laughs> just to- totally unknown. appropriate. <laughs> 
just the most unknown but most handsome man in the world. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so goofy. All right, so what I picked is a film by a man named Robert Spindler called The Fencers. Ooh, okay. And the movie begins with this, like, fencer guy. And you guys know what fencing is, that fucking gay shit where the little pin, like, yeah. swords. Yeah, it's awesome. On guard and the yeah. touching. You just kind of poke somebody gently with it. Like, does yeah. that hurt? Captain like, Picard would do it in space. Oh yeah, like like (laughs) floating out in space, like (laughs) no, no no gravity, like on a mat, like on a yoga mat. Oh okay, I was like that'd be so fucking cool if you're hanging out of a spaceship fencing. Yeah, a yoga mat in one of the rooms of the spaceship, so not like on a yoga mat in space. (laughs) No, see, I was imagining in the depths of space on a yoga mat fencing. (laughs) I'm I'm sure something has done with Noah fucking Huntley. (laughs) <laughs> on fire verse Picard <laughs> make it so <laughs> I wish that was the movie I watched yeah. we should uh, petition CBS for this new uh, Captain Picard <laughs> show it has to have him fence Noah Huntley Dude, Noah Huntley could <laughs> totally fire. be like a two minute scene fencer so <laughs> yeah he's still just credited as man on fire oh my god <laughs> <laughs> He can't Spins shake it, it wherever he goes. And it's a, the, the story of is actually the Event Horizon ship it actually spits Noah Huntley as a fencer out at Picard to fight. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Borg intercepts Noah Huntley and he becomes a Huntley Borg. It would be I love this. We should make this. But if if he was well, on fire, would he still need the fencing outfit for protection? I think that's just to well, look yeah. good. Okay, like Ghost well, Rider. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ghost Rider doesn't need a leather jacket on that bike. He's not going to get scuffed or scraped. It's for looks. It is for looks. But <laughs> yeah, it would be really weird if Ghost Rider was naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I guess that answers his... that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's All right. About, so... Now I'm thinking Noah Huntley for Ghost Rider. <laughs> Naked Ghost Rider or just regular yeah, Ghost Rider? I mean, whatever. I'll take whatever I can get for another Ghost Rider movie. I love <laughs> Ghost Rider. He's credited as Ghost Rider on fire. <laughs> just, it makes no sense why. Uh, Alright, so my movie begins with this fencer taking off her mask. And it's Ooh, just, like woman. really hot. Yeah, it's a woman and she's really hot. And then the guy that she was, like, dueling with. Is that is that dueling? Yeah, yeah they duel. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Do. Um, He takes his mask off. It's Noah Huntley. And it's super, it's super it's handsome, Vader. sexy Noah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Darth Vader, like, what? under the mask, he pulls off a bigger mask. Is he still wearing mask? the mask? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't or is know. it, like, his That's... cancer version where he's bald? Like, <laughs> No, when you said that, immediately, like, I just popped into my head the face of Darth Vader. Or, like, the helmet of Darth Vader. I don't know why. I guess because we were in space. Now Picard is fencing Noah Huntley playing Darth Vader. Alright. What happens um, next? I'm trying! <laughs> Fuck, yeah, now I'm just imagining this reality. Vader. Uh, it's he tells done. her... Yeah, it's actually Big Van Vader. <laughs> oh my god, Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's time it's fencing time <laughs> <laughs> he gives her a vader bomb oh my god I think like he right win. there on the fucking mat Wait, is that cheating or is that a point i don't know i think that's cheating <laughs> that's not... no that's a point i'll give him the point <laughs> he hit the ref of a chair first so he does... if you're if you're playing uh texas rules yeah no huntley actually hit vader with the uh with the chair <laughs> oh that happened <laughs> real life, yes. Yeah, that's why Vader's How dead. How do you now. think Vader died? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fucking no, Man Huntley, I'm, not, fire got I'm him. not a fan anymore. <laughs> he killed Vader. It's no longer time. <laughs> what did he have to gain? <laughs> the mask of power. How do you think Vader had such a long <laughs> career? <laughs> My favorite part is that Noah used to be a baby face. Now he turned. <laughs> Now he's a heel. He's a heel. 
<laughs> like killing Vader. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh shit. This is, this is way better than any like of our two movies. hours plotting out <laughs> Noah Huntley's last thirty years in wrestling. <laughs> we don't come back to Angus's movie now. <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> the SummerSlam antics. <laughs> okay, so the guy takes it off. It's super sexy, handsome Noah Huntley. And he tells her, like, hey, you gotten better. And then he goes in for a kiss. But this stuck-up bitch turns her head away to just get kissed on the cheek. Oh, rude. Oh. Right? If Noah was coming at me, I'd go fucking full force at him. Mm-hmm. Dude's handsome as fuck. Mm-hmm. I'd rub crotches. Like, I'd be like, mm. <laughs> oh. Just the tips. Just the Because you're wearing cups, right? So you don't, you don't, want, to, you don't yeah. want penetration. So I just yeah. rub his cup. Yeah. No homo. <laughs> like, just the vibrations of the cups smacking together. <laughs> plastic on plastic. <laughs> That's the <laughs> safest sex. <laughs> all right. So he's like all it. pissed off. Oh. And... She says, good to have you back. And then she starts sword fighting him again. Well, their masks are off. Like, well, no, she puts hers back on, oh, and then okay. he, like, swings his back on, too. Okay, cool. And there's, like, just this super obnoxious, like, cut scene. Like, it was just so, like, amateurly done. And I just now imagine it like, turns into the Blair Witch. That's it. <laughs> They're just lost in the woods with the fucking... <laughs> No pointed dripping mucus onto his handsome face. <laughs> uh, him sitting in the he's staring at the, like the corner but on fire at the end. You know, we're <laughs> laughing at this, everyone else is like, who the fuck is Noah Huntley? <laughs> well, to, to be fair, everybody else is probably like, who the fuck is Big Van Vader? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody knows Vader. I I think more people would know Vader. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. That's I, a, yeah, that's fair. That's an easy gamble, dude. At this point, I think I could get Vader to do a fucking interview with us. Well, I mean, if we just go to his gravestone, have a little powwow. <laughs> It's not like he's you alive to say he wasn't. We're gonna like have a seance at Vader's grave for the show. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's do it. We can get one of those. Uh, those Our what first are those? Road trip. Oh, a Ouija board. <laughs> a Ouija board. Yeah, that's the ones. <laughs> and we just Still on the road. <laughs> just show up with like a fifth of whiskey and just be like, ah, uh, we're just gonna hang out with Vader here. Do we have to try to like summon by his real name, or do we have to say like, oh, Big Van Vader? <laughs> oh no, we definitely have to call him Vader. Yeah, Vader. That's all we all, we all have to, to wear masks. So, <laughs> do you do you think he was Where's buried he in the mask? Uh, I think he was cremated, probably. So I, th- I think I think the mask like, burned put it on with his him. chest and folded his hands over. Oh, his. oh, yeah. he's cremated. Oh, I, I mean, I don't. You know. know so much about wrestling. <laughs> he <Yeah>. really does. <laughs> he's so fat; it would have taken forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's in two urns. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this One says story? Vader, one says time. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shit. That made me so happy to hear you laugh like that. Yeah. I'm like, so oh, happy for Vader. Mike laugh for the uh, bang. <laughs> well, v- Vader lives on, so I'm happy, too. <laughs> Uh, All right, so back to my movie. Back to our Vader episode. (laughs) (laughs) I know our next theme. (laughs) All right, so now there's a group of uh, fencers. (laughs) It was a... (laughs) It's WrestleMania time, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck, we're not going to make it through. (laughs) All right, group of fencers, and the, the hot woman, she's like packing her shit up, and Noah comes up, and he's like, what the fuck, you're leaving? And she's like, yeah, like, I'm, I am I gotta go. And he's like, oh, God, is this about me? I'm sorry. You know nationals are this week. And she's like, I'm, I'm sorry for it getting this way. Then this, like, fucking asshole dude shows up, and he's wearing, like, that hat that TJ used to have, like, that little, like, fucking newsboy like little... cabbie. Yeah, a hat. cabbie hat. Is that what it is, a cabbie hat? Yeah, people will know it by that. Yeah, I've heard other names for it, but that yeah, that's uh, that. Yeah. See, I always think of like the 
extra, extra kids, like, from the fucking 20s who would just take your quarter and give you a shitty fake newspaper. Uh, fake newspaper. <laughs> they were doing fake news back in the 20s. <laughs> this paper's bullshit. It's like John Adams was like, this is garbage. <laughs> He's fucking pissed. Woodrow Wilson's like, no, fuck you! I'm, this is fake news! <laughs> they write up a declaration. And they get an address. <laughs> four right. score and 20 years ago, fake news was propagated. <laughs> and it was bullshit. Now we're America. No more fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this asshole guy wearing the hat is eating M&M's and he, he just... <laughs> He takes her away. Oh. The end. All right. Yeah, as I say, I just that, felt that, like you were talking. I was like, this is like 20 minutes in now when they started fighting again. Well, it, it was a four-minute movie. <laughs> it's a powerful <laughs> statement on uh, love and relationships, and you like, you can't help who you love. I thought it was a 20-minute movie. It's only five, four? It was four minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least tell us what the M&Ms mean. I, I, fuck commercial. if I know. They were peanut M&Ms, though, because they were kind of bulky. Oh, it was okay. a commercial? You watched a fucking commercial for M&Ms. It's like, oh, hey, <laughs> have the M&Ms. Then you don't need to be as handsome as Noah Huntley. Yeah, you'll get the girl. <laughs> you'll get the girl if you have peanut M&Ms. Well, all right. that's certainly so, a film. It was. All right, so... And you're probably going to win, so that's great. Yeah, I'm, like, well, I'm into this. I want to watch this. Yeah. Now we're on to movie two. So you're not if you kidding. Have... Yeah, no, that was the end of the movie. I mean, I didn't think you were kidding, but I was, <laughs> I was still waiting for the, like, I'm kidding, shoot and no, drop. That's absolutely the movie. <laughs> that's that's an interesting did film. You, did you know it was four minutes before you went into it? I thought it'd be a bit longer, but not four minutes. <laughs> like, does it have short in parentheses on IMDb when you went to it, watch it? It most certainly did. It says short on... drama sport, but it says it says seventeen <laughs> it's minutes. It's a sports film. <laughs> I cannot believe Angus watched another sport film. <laughs> I'm the sports <laughs> fan, Angus. What the hell? <laughs> Me, I'm just I'm watching movies Vader. about gardens and homes, and you're fucking watching <laughs> fencing and wrestling movies. He's you're watching, watching what TJ would watch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, so since the movie was only four minutes, I decided, hey, maybe I should watch a couple more of his flicks. Oh, all right. So I kept going. Oh, okay. And, and the next movie was actually on his website. Oh. Oh. So... He has two short films on his website, and I watched both of them. All right. When are they? When? Uh, when was um the fencing one from? Uh, fuck! I didn't write down the year. I, I was looking at it. it's 2011. Okay. okay. <clears throat> um. So my next film, like I said, was on his website. It's called "Who Ruined Jenny's Wedding." <laughs> I am oh, so excited. <laughs> and I thought it was be- Noah Huntley. <laughs> Noah Huntley's a devious man. (laughs) It was actually Big Van Vader. That's why Noah Huntley killed him. (laughs) (laughs) And this enough of your shit. Guilt. Twenty years later, however many I don't know when Vader died. Mike knows because he's a wrestling savant. He died last year or this year. (laughs) Yeah, very very recently. Oh, I had no idea. He was one of the ones that I made um, one of the fake photoshops of me to try and get a wrestling ring in my backyard. No, I mean, I, I know who Vader <laughs> is, but I just didn't but, know. Like... But I'm just saying, when he died, I reposted that same photoshop. Oh, that's right, you did. I remember that, yeah. We yeah. should uh, put that on our um, on the show's Facebook so now people can see you guys as wrestlers. You, you know what's funny about that um, whole go, GoFundMe that I had to get a wrestling ring in my backyard? Mm. Oh, this that was awesome. So, so <laughs> um, you got to start from the beginning on that story. Well, I don't even remember how it began, but like I was just making like fucking dumb photoshops of me and Mike as the <clears throat> fabulous ones. <laughs> oh, Mike, yeah, that was great. And I became obsessed with it to where I was like, I wanted to do a shot-for-shot remake of me and Mike doing that like their intro song which is one of the gayest things ever like recorded on film 
<laughs> like, they're just wearing, like, these male, like, 80s stripper costumes, and they just, they just do these really weird dances where they're just kind of moving their arms back and forth. It's fabulous. And the song is, <laughs> I'll drop the bomb on you. Yeah, baby. I'll drop the bomb on you. <laughs> so... And then there's like parts of them just in a um in a fucking abandoned like farmhouse, like just uh, sitting on stacks of hay shirtless. So like that's what I was photoshopping us <laughs> on. And I just became obsessed with the idea of getting a wrestling ring in my backyard. So then I would just create like all these like um photoshops of me over um freaking wrestlers' heads. Like I made myself the entire nation of domination at one point. <laughs> But you you brought that uh, wrestling thing to uh, to Facebook when your wife said yeah. no, and it all it was like a rift in your marriage, especially because <laughs> everyone was on your side. Yeah, yeah, she she was not a fan of that because everybody was doing it, and I even got like this is what reminded me of it was um this week I got an update from GoFundMe oh <laughs> saying that. They refunded the people that donated <laughs> because oh. I never went back and checked on it. I forgot oh. it was there. You never so cashed they... it out towards their no. wrestling ring. <laughs> so th- they got their money back, which I'm fine with. I I didn't want the money. It wasn't gonna. Yeah, happen, I was shocked. But... People were actually like giving. <laughs> well, hang on. What if like Triple H saw it and gave you like ten thousand dollars? Now you'll never know. Well, no, I saw what, what was oh, donated. Oh, oh, okay, okay. It wasn't enough for me to cash out and feel good about myself. How much was it? How much was it? Eight hundred bucks for it, right? It was seven fifty. How much? How much did you get? Like I don't want to. When I saw yeah, yeah, it was it was a low number, but it was still like just funny that it was even like donated to. That is pretty stupid. People were rooting for you, man. Yeah. (laughs) People wanted to live vicariously through you. Everyone else was just afraid of your wife. Yeah, she was a dick about it. <laughs> she was the heel. <laughs> well, when you do get one a wrestling the, uh, meet, it'll be a really good storyline. So, yeah, oh, like yeah. right now, it's one of the greatest tragedies in the history of wrestling. <laughs> so, uh, I'm I'm still curious who ruined Jenny's wedding. Oh yeah. yes, Jenny's wedding. So we begin with like a nice bright colored wedding, like insanely bright colors. Like <clears throat> the cinematography on this was fucking beautiful. The colors were so sharp, everything. Oh, it's and a tie dad. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. You I wish you were smell wrong. Smell the fresh rain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's a voiceover of the pastor, or the reverend, or whatever, saying, "Speak now, or forever hold your peace." And then all of a sudden, there's a loud explosion. Oh no. And everybody's dead. Oh. ISIS fucking what? destroyed Jenny's wedding. No, I'm Excuse kidding. Me? Oh, I was waiting for that. <laughs> I, was, if I, I, I was so quiet because I was hoping if I stayed quiet, it would be true. It's the <laughs> darkest Tide commercial ever. <laughs> One thing gets out terrorist blood. It's Tide. <laughs> No, but the the explosion is like all the balloons that were there burst, and it's like very bright, pretty colors, and it's all in oh, slow so they're not motion. Dead? Huh? No, they, no, no. Are nobody's they actually dead. dead? Oh, okay. No, no nobody's dead. That would everything be you say to me is true this episode. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like reeling back and forth, like, what is going on? All right, so b- balloons burst, slow motion. The title goes up. Who ruined? Who was it? Jenny? Yeah, Jenny's wedding. And then we go to Noah sitting in a hammock yeah. next to a really nice pool. Nice. Is he wearing really tell... nice slacks? Not little. Like he's wearing like kind of like a just yeah yeah slacks. Is he wearing like a loose flowy shirt? I'm just, that's what I'm imagining. Yes, one hundred percent flowy shirt. <laughs> that's that's Noah we love right there. He he yeah he's great. classic Noah. Dude, we're gonna, so we're, hit, we're, we're gonna, never mind, go on. <laughs> no, no, I want to hear. What I was, well, I was gonna say, we're totally like trying to get this episode to him in any way possible, right? <laughs> like, we've got to yes. mail this to him, we've got to email it to it, we've got to do everything possible for him to listen to this stupid episode. I yes, told um, 
<laughs> I told him how big of fans we were of his now. Yeah, so I, to, to disclose, we actually you, we delayed <laughs> recording this episode because we, we contacted him just with a few questions we wanted to bring to the show. Um, and since he had and it still has not replied to us, I mean, we had to go ahead and still record the show. But He's, he's just we playing delay, heel, so we understand. Hoping that we could read some words from Noah on the this episode. Unfortunately, he didn't. He has not gotten back to us still. Yeah, I basically virtually sucked his dick to get him <laughs> the answer, and he just just didn't care. I think no. I think he's a busy guy. I, I think that, give it time. We'll hear. That's from what I'm hoping like, too. Yeah, I'm really hoping that. All right, no, anyway. we still love you, man. We <laughs> still love you. <laughs> Big fan. Let's get right, back so he, to his uh, wedding movie and the flowing shirt. He's sitting. He's sitting next to a pool, nice flowing shirt. He's looking beautiful as always. His phone rings. And what kind of pisses me off is, like, he he has an LG phone. And that bums me out because I use an iPhone. So now I'm like, fuck, I got to get an LG phone oh, just because that's what LG. Noah uses. We should oh. message him and let him know that uh, he mm-hmm. and I use the same brand of phone. Shit. That, that might I- be the end. <laughs> I have like the cheapest LG you could get three years ago. So, but you know, well, still. When I sent LG the email, brothers. when I sent the email, it was through my phone, so it may have sent at the bottom, sent from my iPhone, and maybe oh. that's why he didn't. Oh, maybe oh, that's that right. Yeah, he off. saw like the green text. He's like bullshit. Yeah. Nope. Well, no, maybe, uh, maybe it's not like angry at you. He's just like, oh, I'm I'm sorry by contract, I can't communicate can't, with iPhone users. Can't talk to them. What what country is he from? (laughs) (laughs) He smells like a Spaniard born in Australia. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I can't talk to you, mate. (laughs) You're using an iPhone. All right. All right. (laughs) He sees some dude on his watch. And it's just like a normal watch. And then um, the guy that comes to his house is a detective. And the guy's telling him what happened at this wedding. And Noah's not concerned. He's like, it's, ah, it wasn't a real bomb. Who gives a shit? And the dude's showing um, Oi, Noah like... that's not a bomb. <laughs> this, this is a is bomb. A bomb. <laughs> he pulls out his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I he call this the wedding the wrecker. <laughs> So the dude shows him, like, the footage, like, on his phone, and there's slow-mo shots of people getting paint on them. The waiter falls in the pool. There's cakes flying. The guy ran and left his bride. And it's like, uh, who recorded this? Like, because there's different angles of everything, and how did he get every shot? But I'll suspend disbelief. Um, this guy's the inspector, and he wants to go to the crime scene, and Noah's like, yeah, you know what? Fuck that. I got too nice of a home here. I'm not leaving. He's like, we got all the evidence we need right here, baby. And he's watching it on the phone, and then he's like, you know what? Let's make this bigger. And he pulls it up on his giant television. His giant LG television. <laughs> <laughs> And his partner thinks it might be the waiter because the waiter's looking at the table very suspiciously. And Noah's like, look, you fucking idiot. And he zooms in to show a black cat under the table that the guy is feeding the cat. And then the inspector says, oh, this part's crucial. And he points at a groomsman who has, like, red paint on his collar. And he's like, yeah, that's got to be paint, right? And Noah, like, Noah's like, yeah, that paint's not not red in the video. That's a specific type of red. I know that red. And he says, that red collar is rose amaranth. Like the flower, which I thought TJ would enjoy. Because he knows oh, flowers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, he, I, I saw those on a hike. I on what's the, the flower connoisseur thing that you are? A botanist. A botanist. A botanist. Oh, yeah. So now we know close. Noah's a botanist, too. I'm working on my herbology degree. <laughs> And it turns out it's lipstick, the same shade as the bridesmaid. Uh, oh. There's a guy just recording balloons, like, and the guy's like, oh, yeah, this has got to be him. He's just recording the balloons, waiting for it to happen. And then Noah's like, God damn it, you fucking idiot, look. And then he <laughs> zooms in on the guy zooming in on a picture of a butterfly. And oh. it's a very pretty butterfly. 
Then the guy starts to take creep shots of the hot bridesmaids. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> Wait, on an LG camera? Or like... What? On his phone, yes. Oh, his oh, LG okay. phone. And Noah sarcastically says, Well, I guess that could be deemed a crime in its own right. <laughs> Just taking creep shots. <laughs> Now the inspector's pissed, and he's like, I give up. I don't know what to do. And Noah says, in my humble and accurate opinion, which I thought was a great line. He's such a cool man. That's a good he line. Says, he says, look at the bride. She's feigning surprise, judging by her pupils. And he, he can see that on the <laughs> image. <laughs> and he points out a tattoo on her finger that's the Celtic sign for love. Her gaze was on the band singer, oh. and he rewinds, and the singer is pretending to play guitar, and then he steps on a pedal, and all the balloons burst. He has the matching tattoo as the bride. Oh, They're no. staring at each other the whole time while the paint's flying all over everybody. The inspector thinks Noah's a genius. He's like, how did you solve it? He said, I didn't. The video did. And he throws the phone on the couch a close-up, Back to the TV, showing all the events on the screen with a gay song playing. And during the credits of the actors, they're also crediting all the stuff to LG. <laughs> and then at the end, in in quotations, the truth lies in the perfect picture. <gasps> LG. This so was a really enthralling commercial. <laughs> yes, he just puts ads. I guess they probably paid him to do but, that. Like They're labeled as short films. <laughs> okay, so what's the next commercial in the 16 on <laughs> cinema commercial break we're taking right now? <laughs> All right, honestly, I have two more, but they're not commercials. Are you well, sure? What are they? Yes, I'm 100 percent sure. All right. Um, the first one wasn't a commercial either. The guy yeah, was no, it's definitely a commercial for fencing and M and M's. It was a commercial for M and M's. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't M and M's. TJ All hates right, so commercials. The new- God. Never getting this, this one's episode. No, this it's gonna go legit. two hours and fifteen minutes. Relax, we're fine. This one's <laughs> legit. It's called the carriageway. I'm gonna get through it quick. We're in the woods, we're coasting down a trail. There's an old man with frizzy hair who asks if it's gonna be long. He's Doc pissing. Brown. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chick. She says she's ready. She's recording him. She's recording him for like a she's, podcast. Wait, she's she's doing. With an LG camera? <laughs> She's re- yes, she's re- not like fucking filming him with a camera. She's just got like the little audio thing because, like the I said, audio it's for a of podcast. Him pissing? No, it, after he's done pissing, she says she's ready and then starts recording him. Oh, I also, after he's done pissing, they're gonna have sex because that's what I do before the, sex. I pee. No, oh. they're not gonna have sex on a podcast. Wait, oh, man. before you record a podcast, you have sex? Or? No, I pee before I have sex I but also before, before a podcast before i do anything because i have constant anxiety so i just have to anxiety pee a lot <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i gotta pee now <laughs> that's because if that's tj's fault <laughs> because he is he's anti-commercial okay <laughs> that's commercial break time to go pee so what, what happens with, uh, what happens next i just read two commercials we can't take a commercial break <laughs> we don't have any ads and then, and then, Eminem and LG better pay us after this episode. Oh, yeah, we have to go contact them and then never hear from them either. Oh, of course not. All right. The guy said he didn't like being there. It's been 50 years. And then he tells what Jesus. tells the chick what happened to him when he was 12. A flashback puts handsome Noah walking down with them as his father dressed as a 30s prohibition mobster. And the old man stops saying, he stops and says, it happened here. And then it shows Noah walking while, like, dramatic music is playing, and the old man is just staring off in the space. His father comes back, explains that a woman just disappeared, and the old man freaks out. He's like, it was my mother! Oh, no. Mother! (laughs) No, 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 no. (laughs) We can't get into the Danzig. Angus actually misheard what he actually said was, Vader! Anyway, <laughs> I thought this was gonna, it's going to be like a liquor ad where this guy, like, they there's no ad. Liquor, and he's like, they made me drink cheap whiskey. And then I learned, no, you can't do that. Johnny Walker. <laughs> Johnny Walker in the woods. <laughs> all right. So now all three of them, like the old man, the woman and his fucking 
Noah's he- sexy young dad are looking into the woods, and he talks about how it's strange to hope, and the woman asks if he ever saw her. He a- she asks the old man, and he's like, no, but if he could talk to his father again, he'd say he believed him. The end. Cool. Wait, what? Yeah, that, yeah, that was the movie. It made no sense. No yeah, sense so, at all. So far, I'm a fan of the... Uh... The LG first, and then the first <laughs> the fencing second, and this was my least favorite one. Maybe LG really somehow tied good. like maybe this is holiday related. Maybe this is like a weird movie like take on Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> like, As for me and Grandpa, we believe Grandma got lost in the woods one day. <laughs> Vader took her solo away. <laughs> All right. Last film that it. I watched is called Grow. And this is the most movie-like of all of them. Okay. Okay. So there's a computer that's typing, and it's talking about how climate change happened and glaciers melted and flooded cities. Oh, no. The government collapsed. And then there's just stock footage of riots and global disasters and shit. And it said the, U- the U.S. auctioned off cities to corporations, and New York is sold to a group called the Illuminate Corp. There's no air in America now, so they sell these gas masks that you can breathe out of. This is New York City, 2083, and there's it's like this badass dystopian land with like a giant Skeletor-looking castle, and you just see this butterfly floating around, but it turns out to be a robot, and it's tracking this man that it identifies as Winston Willis, who is an illegal oxygen dealer. <laughs> and... <laughs> Wilson Willis, Winston Willis goes into a literal oxygen bar because they need that because there's no oxygen. But he refuses to take his mask off while he's trying to make a deal. He's making this intense deal with a man and the guy that he's trying to sell to is Noah. And the music is really intense. It's like the cantina scene with Greedo <laughs> where like, they're trying to make this deal. And then this waitress, like, just kind of comes up and she, like, kills the whole vibe. Like, hey, honeys, you want some pie or some fucking oxygen? And just Noah has this, like, robotic eye, right? And he can see things going on. And then they start fighting over this bag. And of, then, like, of these, oxygen? Like, what you yeah. got in that bag? <laughs> I think it's oxygen. I knew that was coming. <laughs> But what they are is they're basically CO2 cartridges that you put in, like, an air gun, like an air rifle. And they fall to the ground. Uh, The guy loses his mask. He puts it back on, breathing intensely. And uh, the voiceover comes over and they said, they think the war is over. It's just beginning. We used to breathe without thinking. If only we knew. And from that point... Like, I just just doing the Randy Marsh in my head. We didn't know! We didn't know! <laughs> <laughs> so, then that robotic butterfly flies in, and it lands on Noah's hand, and he crushes it. The end. Alright. And like those are my film. Noah Huntley short films. Was, my really, Noah Huntley short film festival. That was, that I was really, exciting. That was, I really liked it, actually. <laughs> I was... Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. That short show, short show, <laughs> short film festival. I figured it's never been done, so what better time to do it than with this man of greatness to beautiful. just dedicate a whole f- short film festival to him? But yes. now I'm excited because now we get two feature lengths featuring him. I hope no other podcast is doing this talking about <laughs> commercials. <laughs> two <laughs> out of years four ago. With commercials. <laughs> wasn't that long. So I, um, unfortunately, I watched a feature film. It Ooh, is from... Mr. Big Shot. 1999. Um, now I know, Ooh-ha. I guess you routinely watch movies on YouTube and online. Um, Love it. I don't. Uh, I think the only other one I have watched online was House with uh, the Laughing Windows. So I'm excited whenever I get a chance to watch a movie on YouTube. Um... This movie, it was doubly exciting because it was in 16 parts on YouTube. (laughs) Holy shit! (laughs) That's a lot. 
It was uploaded back in the day when you had to, you know, you had to have like um, credentials or some. Sh- remember that? Yeah. Like you couldn't just upload things over an hour. You could only upload short was, videos. So anybody the, wasn't it to like upload movies? Ten minutes was your max, like under ten minutes per video. Um, maybe it, something like that. These came out like twelve minutes each, so maybe it was. Anyways, obviously somewhere around there. Maybe it was fifteen, and they edited it to like to natural breaks. It. God, I hope you watched yeah. the movie that I was almost going to watch. I'm so excited. Um, well, are. I watched Cyber Stalking. Ah, okay. Was, was that what say, you were about to watch? No, I was going to watch Tom's Midnight Garden. About some oh. kid with the measles. <laughs> what me- is it with you and these gardens? It was about somebody, yeah, it was about somebody <laughs> with like measles or something. So, Because <laughs> that would have like been the Gardens third of garden Stone, thing. Midnight in the Garden of uh, Good and Evil. And then you, of course, you got flowers for Algernon or whatever, which would. Oh, uh, you're right. I I totally dropped the you ball guys, on that. I should have told totally you guys called me the botanist, but Mike is the one with flowers <laughs> on the brain. It's true. <laughs> um, I hate this, flowers. I like flowers. I hate Bougainvillea. I'm just saying, fuck flowers. Don't get me started. I was watching some movie and I saw Bougainvillea, and I, I got my hackles up. <laughs> well, think of only happy <laughs> thoughts now. We're all friends. Okay, here. so. Let, yeah, I heard uh, the the wife in the background. She's probably in there telling him, "You're not getting a wrestling ring." <laughs> <laughs> um, let me get back to my movie, which was made for Canadian TV. Um, nice, eh? <laughs> um, Are there any Indians in this film? <laughs> uh, no, I, not that I'm aware of. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, sorry. I kind of, I kind of, um, I didn't black out. I blanked out because I couldn't read <laughs> my notes. Um, Been hitting it hard. I, I, well, the director is Brian Brandt. I think I wrote. Anyway, his name's not important. What is important is that he was the director of an unaired thirty-minute pilot for a TV show of Dark Man. Oh. What? <laughs> yes. There was a Dark Man show that almost happened. There's somewhere there's 30 more minutes of Dark Man that Holy fuck. We haven't seen yet. I, I didn't I didn't get a chance to like research to see if that pilot is out there and you know, I'm sure our, our uh, 10 fans are going to tell me that I'm a, you know. Including I'm Brett from Kansas research. City. Hey, yeah. shout out to Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking heck. Newest fan. <laughs> Great to see. <laughs> Hi, Brett. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Thanks for joining. We said we would play it cool, you guys. Oh, I'm ecstatic. New people, new names. I love it. I feel like we're brothers already. There's me, there's TJ, there's Angus, and there's fucking Brett from Kansas City. That's cool. He's fourth mic. <laughs> should, I just, should I load up the Facebook right now and thank everyone as a thank you a season finale thank you let us thank our, our 42 oh, followers by name on the episode no i think this yes. one goes out to brett do, do you prefer i go alphabetically by first or last name no you go from brett down <laughs> yeah this show is all about noah huntley and brett so you know Anyway, the two most handsome I'm men of like, the internet. <laughs> in those like ninety seconds, I've now covered in sweat. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> They're oh. a good podcast, Brent. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> I hope he was just telling friends to check out the podcast. He's like, are you sponsored by these fucking guys? (laughs) That would be the fucking greatest. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, now TJ's going to (laughs) die. Now we're going to need need Brett now that TJ's dead. (laughs) Yes, you're the replacement. Thank God for Brett. (laughs) Hi, this is 60 Out Cinema. My name is Brett as your host. Dude, I hope he As always, hope he I'm call here the with these guys us. I just met through the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Angus and, and Michelle. <laughs> he, he can't pronounce Mike's name right. Like Mike can't pronounce anybody else's name right. Oh, oh fuck me! <laughs> I think we're gonna need another break for TJ. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
I need a cough button. Shit. <sighs> um, I have to hello? talk can now. We... Yeah, to... it's, it's yeah. on you, bro. <laughs> I can't breathe. Stop I'm sweaty. I, like, I had an event. Horizon. Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> I said it first. Nah. All right, so cyber stalking opens oh, yeah. up on a, a crappy looking uh, club scene. Some kind of event is going on. Um, they, they, hey, 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 I, got, I have a quick question. Is cyber stalking for me or one? for Brett? For you. <laughs> for you. Can we leave Brett out of this for a minute? <laughs> Is uh is cyber stalking the one with the IMD picture with uh with like the chick that has cellulite but she's trying to look sexy <laughs> in a red dress? <laughs> I I think so. She's in like a tight red dress and she doesn't look attractive at all and it's oh. got like some nineties like virtual shit. Yeah, in the I background. remember it being like black and white, but I remember her like her cellulite on her legs being very pronounced, which was weird to me. Yeah, yeah, it's the one with the 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 basic bitch on the cover. <laughs> That's basic. Oh, now I feel bad. Now, now I want to. You feel say nice bad? About it. Yeah, now I feel bad. I like basic bitches. Yeah, they have their moments. Um. Well, everybody okay. looks like a basic bitch to Noah. <laughs> They're all beneath him. They always say you got to date up, and Noah's like, "Well, fuck me. It's impossible." <laughs> <laughs> It's a three-hour episode. Good season finale. Oh, they're, they're always extra Love long. It. Yeah. Well, it, this is for them waiting an extra week. We got to right, give them more yeah. content. This is like we we actually shorted ourselves an episode for this. So no, we'll go we did this for you, episode. Brett. <laughs> <laughs> you got to talk, man. Uh, <laughs> or else okay. it's just really so awkward. The people <laughs> in the club <laughs> are, are dancing, and they're um. They're kind of dancing like, um, you remember that, that, that uh, South Park episode with like how the goths dance, just kind of yes. bobbing their heads yes. <laughs> one way and then the other. They have a little bit more shoulder movement to it, but yeah, it's kind of like, oh, we're going to add the music in later. And the people are like, I'm not dancing with that music. Do they do the drag <laughs> of the cigarette too? Uh, well, no, they're not. Even though this was 1999, they're, they're not smoking in there. Um, oh, it must be because uh, TV. I don't know if Canadian TV had the same rules. Even by then, you couldn't be smoking in a show. Um, well, I guarantee you know it's a truth ad. A little bit of history. Um, so uh, Noah and this Russian guy show up, and like oh, they're outside the club, and all these people are going in, and the, the, his Russian friend is like, like talking about these girls, and then the camera shows all these like plain girls or, or basic bitches, if you will, and so the <laughs> Russian is like super into plain looking girls, and um, Noah's just kind of obviously not into it. He's like. No, they're, they're beneath me. Um, <laughs> like that podcast I won't give my answers to. <laughs> He's going to. Don't don't, <laughs> don't don't you rag on Noah yet. He's going to get back to us. It's just not in time for this episode. <laughs> um, so the, the, inside the club, this dude gives an intro to the party talking some like nonsense about uh, virtual reality. Um and so, so what happens is like this chick is um, sat in a chair with like a thing on her head. And what happens is like it projects images from her mind into the club. So like the, the people are in the club and it projects this entire different world. And uh, so redecorates the entire club. It goes from like just a, like a plain kind of looking 90s club to having like like marble columns. Like it kind of has this like Roman theme to it. And the um, the chick is there, and she starts singing a song. It's kind of like a it looks like a music video. Um, she sings like a low rent garbage song, is what I wrote. Huh. That's kind of sad. Uh, I was hoping you would say low rider. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this chick is Samantha. She's Noah's sister. And um, while she is doing her her act, she she sees um. This weird cloaked guy in the crowd, and then she starts freaking out, and everything starts glitching. Um, so, like the introduction dude, who's like the CEO of this this company, um, pulls her, and then they they get the next act going, and every everything's you know fine with the club. And so the the I'll call the CEO guy the manager because that's what I wrote in my notes. Uh, so the manager talks to Samantha, and, and she thinks the computer something in the computer program is watching her. 
and, and coming for her. I always feel like... <laughs> that... <laughs> Derail us again for another 20 minutes. I stopped. I fucking stopped. All right, so the, then there's these t- these two girls. So they, then she was there s- washing her I hair. I can't believe he gave you shit for singing. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> right? I didn't even finish the lyric. Well, as soon as you do it, I remember your weird, like, shampoo shower shor- <laughs> shorty. <laughs> shorty. Shorty. Shorty about it. It's this Canadian movie I'm watching. I can't speak now. <clears throat> oh, I'm shorty. Oh, I'm sorry. Won't happen um, again, eh? So these two girls are sneaking in. They're they they're sneaking in by crouching in a hallway. So it's kind of like a video game tactic, where like they're just completely out in the open, but because they're crouching, it increases their sneak level. Um, they're solid snaking it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, one of them is named Holly Moon. Um, now I don't have this <laughs> actress's name immediately in front of me, but if you remember the sitcom Yes, Dear. Uh. She no. was the wife on that sitcom. Yeah, I definitely don't fucking remember that. <laughs> I I watched it when I was like twelve, or it was out like a, shortly after this movie came out. So someone remembers Yes, dear. No. Um, <laughs> Even Brett's calling you a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Vader's rolling in his grave. Nobody remembers <laughs> Yes, dear. Well, he's been cremated. So what are you doing at an urn? Hey, you boil. <laughs> you boil, jeez. Oh, <laughs> um, so her name is Holly Moon, and she sneaks up to the uh, the manager's office and j- gets a job. I guess she's there, I guess. Man, the um, fucking 90s, man. You could just do that shit. The, the background music is uh, just, just <laughs> nonstop, like, video game techno. It, it seriously sounds like, uh, a, this is for Angus, the soundtrack to Time Splitters 2, but, like, crappy. Yes! <laughs> Oh. Yeah, and it does not <laughs> stop. The entire movie, every scene, it just keeps going. Um, Shout out to Time Splitters. Best so, video game of all time. Yes. That's all I had to say. Yep. Time Splitters is not going to reply to us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, you know what would be funny is if they did... <laughs> the company that released it was actually really free cool. Free Radical? Like, or thank you now guys. Or Free Radical or whatever they became. Yes. Well, didn't they change it to some other con- con- country? <laughs> company and make Crisis? Isn't that what they did? I don't know, but Crisis was really fun. I liked yeah, Crisis. Yeah, I liked Crisis. It was good. Okay, no time well, thought, splitters, but it was good. Yeah, I thought Mike was going to chime in and like, know about video game developers. I don't know why. I said yes. That's all I had, though. <laughs> oh, Mike confirmed it, so if I'm wrong, blame Mike. It's Mike. true. Um, so the, the, Holly's doing the practice in the club, and she sings a song that doesn't rhyme. It's really awful. Um, so now, now we're back with Noah and his Russian buddy in their apartment. And... Um, one thing I noted, I don't know why, they have a widescreen TV that's uh, not flat. Uh, so is it, it an LG? Like, mm-hmm. I didn't see the brand. It was just weird because it was like a smaller one. So it wasn't like a, you know, like back in the day they had the widescreen TVs, I was, but they were huge. But I don't remember ever seeing widescreen TVs that were like your normal like 30 to 40 inch TVs. In 99? Yeah, that is strange. Right? But and not flat. It's not flat. So it was built like a big screen TV with like that, you know. Yeah. But shrunk down. Anyway, we had um, we had one of those like big screen televisions like that at the time, but it was like one of the fifty five inches and it weighed six hundred fucking those pounds. Were ridiculous. <sighs> I had one of those, and Halo Two was embedded into it, even when it was like turned I, on. Uh, or I remember, else. I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> That's how we watched fucking Eraserhead was on that television. We could see your fucking health yeah, bar. Yeah, we, we, we saw the radar. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the radar the especially, were. yep. <laughs> um, so anyway, the, the Ru- Noah's Russian friend is now actually a Guido. I guess his accent was just slipping back and forth. Um, so now we're, there, we're at a mall. Uh, the, that scene ended. That All that was really of note was the accent in the TV. Um Holly's sitting on a bench, and Noah plops down 
right next to her like a creeper. Like there's other benches free and Noah doesn't know Holly and he just sits right next to her. I guess he's just used to being so handsome that women don't give a shit. Um, That's got to be the life. <laughs> and then he sits down and says, anyone sitting here? Uh, and then he starts talking about the, the club and what's going on there. And it comes out that Noah's trying to help his sister, Samantha. And um, so Holly says, you didn't sit here by accident. Uh, I was just like, well, yeah, no, no shit. Because there was <laughs> lots of free benches. <laughs> he was really creepy in what he did. <laughs> Um. Now when we get to man hear. Does it? It's never creepy. We we get to hear Holly's song again, and here's where I excerpted some uh, lyrics. Um, Ooh, Frankie baby wants to be a big fish. He's ethnic boy, and he's got no money. <laughs> <laughs> and the chorus: Who cares anyway? That's it. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's the fucking to, chorus. That's the chorus. Who cares anyway? <laughs> Who cares anyway? I hope this bitch dies soon. Um. So then Holly starts testing the uh, the virtual reality thing, and uh, Samantha is still lurking about, like in the office. So like the offices of the club are above it. Um, Samantha's like pissy about being replaced. Um. She's also got an accident that is either like British or Swedish or American or whatever. She basically sounds me like me trying to do an impersonation of literally anyone. Um, anyone? Here are my notes, just in case you forgot that shitty fucking techno is still going. <laughs> I did actually forget, actually. So yeah, thank me you. Too. I'm glad. Um, Samantha hits. Uh, there's like a tech guy in the office. She knocks him out and then jumps into the uh, virtual reality. Um, as the the CEOs kind of the managers walking Holly through the uh, virtual reality, and they're on they have like this huge, wonderful estate, and they're on the balcony <laughs> hanging out. And Samantha's outside the gates of the estate, and she gets attacked by the weird cloaked VR thing, and it bites into her neck, and she disappears. And you know what's funny is that this is 1999, so I'm just imagining all this virtual reality is just a virtual boy. <laughs> that shitty like little thing you'd have to set up on your floor and look through and it's just like red like fucking well, no, they, lasers no when i say virtual they they they're, they're just going to like other sets so they're just like they're on an actual house they don't try to like spice it up with any kind of cgi or effects or anything like uh, that see i thought it was a dreamcast <laughs> no they just like put the thing on they close their eyes and then it cuts to them someplace else so they're just imagining shit there's no virtual right, yeah. reality there's no Tron shit, no. Boo. That's stupid. <laughs> That's a D plus uh, for effort. Yeah, you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not TJ's fault. He didn't make the damn movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so mine has a lot of Noah in it. Um, <laughs> I do yeah, love Noah. <laughs> mine has the least Noah by about 100 billion times. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so... Mine is just the movie I watched. Yeah, I was looking at his credits, and I was like, this looked like one of the only feature films that actually featured Noah. So, Because I, I was looking at it, I was like, it seems like there's only two other movies any of us could possibly do. Angus skirted it by just finding the short films. and <laughs> Exactly. Why do you think I did that? Yeah. He starred in all of them. Yeah. Um. I got a plethora of Noah. I was actually almost <laughs> assuming it was going to be my uh, selling point because he's got like <laughs> he's got like no <laughs> no starring roles. So I was like, well, I got them because he starred in my movie. <laughs> um. Anyway, Holly and the CEO come out of um the virtual reality, and Holly leaves, and then the the tech takes the CEO or the manager over and shows him. Sam's dead body that he moved to a closet. So Noah's sister is dead now. Um, now we oh go no. back to to Noah's buddy, or Noah and his buddy, the Guido. Um, for some reason, like Noah's Guido buddy has a Confederate flag in his apartment. I was like, well, this this guy's <laughs> this guy's interesting. <laughs> I, um, I'm interested. Like, so it, it turns out that like the the virtual reality, like. Um, 
know his Guido buddy as like a conspiracy theorist, and he knows people online, and he's like a t- uh, cyber dude or whatever. He's you want Mike. To call him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just knows stuff. Um, anyway, so it turns out that like this VR that the club is using for entertainment was originally a military program for uh, training soldiers. Oh. Um, so that's what we learned there. Um, next, we cut to Holly singing the Frankie Baby song again. Ugh. This is the third time. And now she's performing in the club. And um, the is that virus. the only song she has? Yes. The only money budget they had. You had to have that. Yeah, you hear two the songs. The money budget went to <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I call them money budget. Lines. <laughs> they uh, play this <laughs> money song budget five times. This oh. one song five times. Jeez. And like, they play come... like verse, chorus, second verse, chorus mo- almost every each time. So Can it takes up a lot. Ag- can we come to an agreement that when we create a production company, it's called Money Budget Productions? <laughs> I love, yes. yes. I love, that's a really great name. Money Budget Productions. <laughs> it's trademark, motherfuckers. Don't take it. So so this song plays enough that like, if you just took the time, the amount of time the song is playing, it would amount to one of the parts of the movie that this, or one of the YouTube parts <laughs> this movie is broken up to. So which part are we at? Like four? Oh, you know what? I was thinking you of writing You should have kept that. track. No, I thought of doing that. I actually did think of doing that, and then for some dumbass reason, I didn't. That would have um, been really funny. Okay, so now now she's performing the song again. The, the virus shows up, and uh, Holly seems kind of interested in whatever the cloaked virus thing is, is doing. Oh, she's part um, of the she's part of the fucking conspiracy to get and kill everyone. I guess. Boo um, her. <laughs> Noah turns up at the the club, and, the, and then the song ends, and Holly's out of the VR. Um, when we start to learn a little bit more about this virus, it, it apparently it took eleven months to get to Samantha. I just want to um, say every time, every sorry to cut you off, but every time you say VR, I remember watching VR Troopers as a kid. And they oh, they would always oh, say wait, we are VR, VR, VR troopers. troopers, and so every Dude, time you those... say it, it's in my head, man. Hold I on. had the Hold toys. On. Oh for yeah, VR no, troopers. I had the action figure. Sorry, it took yeah. me a second me too. To, to differentiate VR troopers from Beetleborgs because they played back to back. Oh fuck Beetleborgs! Yeah, I was a big fan of VR troopers. Beetleborgs was VR... goofy as shit, but VR troopers that that they was were the like good badass one. Power Rangers, yeah. man. They were awesome. Yeah, and I didn't like Power Rangers, but I was all about the VR troopers. I didn't no. buy Beetleborgs action figures, but I got the VR troopers ones. I I love Power Rangers, but VR troopers was the best. Beetleborgs was just like Beetleborgs was weird because it was like two different shows in one, where it had like that weird haunted house like yeah. shit. And then just all of a sudden there were like these fucking robot kids. Like it didn't make sense. Like Fighting why guys the two over mixed? like hot dog stands. Yeah, like <laughs> I thought they were two separate shows for the longest time. But no, VR Troopers was the fucking shit. Yeah. Um. So so anyway, this VR Trooper. <laughs> where was I? <laughs> Um, you made this movie learned, a lot cooler. Just talk about the VR troopers. Basically, we learned that the 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 VR trooper. I'm on is, eBay looking for VR trooper toys right now. <laughs> oh, like, I'm gonna. I, I know. I'm gonna get my going collection this back. Movie. I'm gonna try to wrap it up real quick. Okay, so the virus is getting to Holly really quick, like a lot faster than it did to Samantha. Um, by that the way, bore. a reminder: that fucking techno drum machine music still going. Um, Jesus Christ. Now we have people just kind of going into the club. Um, oh, this is what happens. Basically, people are just getting let into the club. But then Noah, like, gets to the door and he, like, can't fucking keep his cool. And he's, like, screaming, my sister died in there. My sister died in there. Like, he, he wants to get in there. But then they don't let him in because he's screaming, my sister died in there. And, like, meanwhile, everybody else is just, like. Yeah, we're just letting everybody in except this guy who just walked up to the door and started fucking screaming. <laughs> um, so knowing the, that. knowing the Guido yeah. have to sneak in the back, uh, just like the the girls did earlier, and then they roam the ha- halls unstopped. So really, like, the like, him screaming was just pointless. Um, now we're at uh, Holly's next show. The club is full, so she sings that song for the uh, fourth time. Who 
cares anyway? Oh, Jesus Christ. She doesn't sing any better than I do, either. Oh, um, I want to hear it. So now the uh, the the virus is in the, the crowd. Um, now, Noah and the Guido are in the server room trying to, to, to hack in because they, they want to stop the virus. And um, now the, the virus is coming up to Holly... And she's kind of. I want to say she's still. Into I love it. a good '90s hacking scene. Oh yeah, and then this yeah, one kind of seems best. like almost legit because he's got his weird like '90s tech, and they actually go to like yeah. the server room on location. So it's not like he just like, oh, I'm gonna guess the fucking password. No, the Guido's like, no, I need more time. Like I can't just fucking do this. Um, nice. So that's one good thing cyber stalking has. Um, so now Holly's about to let the uh, VR trooper bite her. Um, and it, it like starts <laughs> caressing her. And one thing I noticed that was that as it caresses her face, it has black nail polish. Um, oh, it was like me in high school. Yeah, except you didn't wear a black veil over your face. That would have been too. Much. I would have if they would have allowed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that uh, so now Noah has like a, a video from Samantha getting killed by the uh, VR trooper, um, which he broadcasts. Um, while the virus is still caressing Holly's neck. And now Holly sees Samantha dying. Oh, um, no. And then the, the crowd, no reaction. They just keep doing their little, like, South Park goth dance. Um, no, no reaction <laughs> whatsoever <laughs> to seeing people die and all this shit going on. Um, Holly snaps out of her, like, trance. And uh, she starts yelling, get me out of this VR. And she sees a... A double of herself like she she sees herself out in the crowd and now the crowd's gone so nobody reacted they just kind of like nudge each other like i think we should go and then they all left um so now the the virus loses its black veil and it's the manager under the veil and then in the uh the real world the manager sees it and he's like what what uh, and now holly gets butt. out and noah's happy and the, the manager is ruined <laughs> and that's the end of it and uh um, that actress's name, Holly Moon, is Jean Louisa Kelly. I wrote it at the back end of my notes. <laughs> what was it? Jean Louisa Kelly. She's not in anything other than Yes, Dear, though. So That's it. Literally, I mean, Yes, Dear, in this movie. Two credits on IMDb. And probably an M&M ad and a Tide ad. <laughs> or an LG. Noah just wants to keep her working. He tries, man. He good really man. does try to help her. He is a good man. So my, He's you the greatest watched, uh... man. <laughs> Me? Did I watch a movie? I think so. Oh, no. You got the wrong well, guy apparently here. Apparently it didn't involve him. Got the wrong guy. So, I did. I did watch a movie. I watched uh, the James Franco and Danny McBride comedy, Your Highness, where... Uh, I... Yes? Hey, I just want to say that I had seen this movie. Yay! This is a um, first. I, I'm nervous. My nipples are hard a little bit. I'm nervous. I, That's how nervous I am. I saw it in theaters when it came out. What? And I have the Blu-ray. Yes. Oh. I went and saw it, and I don't remember one thing about it. Thank God, because I'm happy not you said one that. one fucking scene. I'm glad you lied. Like, you're lying to me memory right now. Bank. <laughs> huh? So I'm glad you're lying to me about this. So. Uh, no, I'm totally... not. I, I don't remember one <laughs> fucking scene of this movie. Um, I remember the the DVD ca- or the Blu-ray case. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's just Danny McBride <laughs> looking like Danny McBride, basically. And I, and I also confuse it with the movie Year One. Oh my God! They came out like the same time too, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. it was like the same like month or something. They probably killed yeah, each they, other. That's why. What are we talking Both about? I was trying to find that song thing. for you guys. She actually uh, sings it herself. Talking way. about my movie. Oh really? Yeah. Are you? Are you? Are you? I couldn't find it. Okay. No, I couldn't find it. <laughs> so, not in quick, easy song format. So this this movie uh, where Noah Huntley plays Head Knight. And the best part about this film is that Noah and his head knight are on screen in the first 15 seconds. So my 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 anxiety no. of, of being able to recognize him is gone immediately, and I love it. Uh, he fucking blows up this demon thing that has a mane tied up, like he's about to ready to like eat her or something, and he blows him up with a fire arrow. So almost like what happened to him in Event Horizon. Uh, ah, yeah. You should have saved it! 
<laughs> yeah, I no, I couldn't save Noah Huntley. He has to. He has to come well, first. Well, no, the him blowing no, up. Fire and... arrow. No, yeah. no, I got some. Yeah, but I didn't want to use no anyway. So I Ooh, like, what I wrote is I'm I imagine like the director of the movie saw Event Horizon and he's like, I got you, bro, <laughs> and he just let him have his revenge. Um, so anyway, that's my Noah Huntley movie. Unless you want to hear <laughs> about right, the rest. Cool. Right. <laughs> um, that's bullet points. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'll, I'll try to go fast, but I won't because I have a lot of notes. <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> yeah, it's just that's not happening. <laughs> um. So we we meet Danny McBride and he just fucked a hot, a really hot blonde midget, uh, who was the wife of some king or something like that, and uh, and so they're gonna kill him for it because like you know you, you don't fuck a, a king's wife even if she's a midget. And, was Noah uh, Huntley the king? No, Noah Huntley was the head knight that killed the guy uh, that was about to eat a maiden. And that's, that's it for that's, Noah. That's it for Noah Huntley. Can you We're instead done. of saying Danny McBride say Noah Huntley just? <laughs> yes, for, for the love of God, please do that throughout the rest. Of, no, no, no. Well, shit. Should wait, Danny McBride be Noah or fucking? Franco? Oh, you're wait, wait. Don't say. It. I got this. I got it. I got it. All we'll, right. we'll see Let's Noah Huntley this. again. All right. Okay. So, uh, so f- fortunately for McBride, he's in a midget kingdom. So, like he, him getting executed, like the the thing that where you hang in is is too short. So he just kind of escapes. Because That's it's too so short, stupid. and they're all a bunch of midgets. It was actually pretty funny. Uh, then there's God this, damn it. There's this really like, what? What's wrong? What's wrong, Angus? I, I just like now that it's starting to like ring bells, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is why it was forgettable. <laughs> this got a this got a theatrical release, didn't it? Oh yeah, no, yes, it was like, I saw it in theaters. Yeah, it was a, it was a big budget movie, well, mildly big budget movie. Not huge, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> then we get an, intro- an introduction, which is really cool. It's like a 2D cartoon that explains what's happening, but I didn't really follow it because it was cool anime fighting and cartoon boobs. <laughs> so the boobs <laughs> the really boobs. got me. <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, so uh, next, uh, Tywin <laughs> Lannister <laughs> is the king of this movie, which is fantastic for me and TJ. And Angus doesn't the care Peter about Dinklage? Game of Thrones. <laughs> what? Peter Dinklage? Uh, no. Uh, Tywin. Oh, Tywin. Oh, Tywin, yeah. The the, the, the cool guy. The, the, the king. Um, I don't know who this is. Uh, he's just... He's the guy. He's, the, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good actor. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good, he's guy. A good guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Danny McBride is his son who is not, very not well Not not Tyrion, but Tywin. Yeah. Okay, I don't remember his name right now. Is that oh, John okay. Glass? No, I'll look, I'll look later. Um... <laughs> So, Philip uh, Glass, the musician? <laughs> Phil Spector. Is it? What? <laughs> Murderer's producer. He is crazy. Here. I don't think you're right in that one. I don't think it's Phil Spector. <laughs> Phil Spector's <laughs> not in Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Danny McBride isn't very well liked because he's a bum. And Noah Huntley and totally not James Franco... Who goes, <laughs> who goes by the name of Prince Fabios because he is super well liked because he does awesome <laughs> things all the time. Uh, yes. Like he just got back from killing a Cyclops wizard and has a pet mechanical bird, and then which can makes I, Danny uh, McBride just sulks. Can I go off topic and say John yeah. Glass is apparently not fucking anybody? I don't know where I came up with that <laughs> name. I just googled him and it's uh, some the only who the fuck is John old? Glass. It's some Art Deco sculpture salesman in my area. Wait. What? <laughs> you saw his card somewhere and just remember. Wait, did you, did, you meet this, did you meet this guy at Four Dicks? <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling people at work about Fort Dicks the other day. <laughs> I was like, yeah, my best friend lives like down the road. Oh, yeah, we hear them party on New Year's. It is full of bears. (laughs) (laughs) Rawr. Yeah, those men are... uh... Mike, you should join. (laughs) No, I'm good. I'm losing weight, not gaining. Oh, no. (laughs) You'll be a cub. The man's name is Charles Dance. That's a lot like John Glass. (laughs) Oh, Charles Dance. Yeah, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely like the same. Um, I bet we, a Charles Dance name. also is into Art Deco sculpture. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh, he looks like he is, yeah. I like Art uh, Deco, but not in my house. 
No. <laughs> I like it in movies. I don't. I wouldn't want to go yeah. into a house that had Art Deco. I'd be like, I <laughs> I'm, wanna, I, I'm gonna break house, something. Art Deco and freak Mike out. <laughs> yeah. I like seeing it when I go to Fort Dix. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Fort Dix is not Art Deco. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, you would know. That's where you met Robert Glass. <laughs> Class? <laughs> what the fuck uh, his name is? It's Mr. Art Glass. Dick, Dick Glass. <laughs> Dick Glass. <laughs> um. That's so anyway, safe. we also learned that uh, Noah Huntley is going to marry uh, Zoe <laughs> Zoe <laughs> Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. Call her Z. Call her Z. Mikey can't. What? You're not even Zoe. speaking. Like, Zoe, I'm just gonna. You, know, you guys know who she is, Zoe. I'm gonna call I'm, her Zoe. I'm, I'm proud of you for trying, Mike. But Thank call you. Her Z. So anyway, the uh, struggle was amazing. So Noah Huntley's gonna marry her and her giant tits. She has giant tits in this movie, and she can't pushed up. I don't. Rec- Did she really have? No, no, no. But they're up. giant in the movie. Like they are visually. They look like double D's and like really nice ones too in this <laughs> oh, film. Okay. Uh, and she also can't use a fork. Cause she's apparently a stupid woman in this movie. That's all she. Oh, does, that's so. a problem she has in real life. She has a condition. <laughs> she can't use forks. Yeah, thanks for making fun of it, <laughs> asshole. Well, that's so sorry, you guys. Yeah, we, it's better. We don't. I mean, I knew Angus really. can only use sporks, so I didn't want to. You know, I'm sorry I shamed you. <laughs> no. I actually secretly I call him the knives. spork. I have him as spork man in my phone. So anyway, <laughs> Spork Man. Yeah. Um, my, my, Mike puts people in his phone based on their disabilities, like what they can't. Which do. is weird because TJ's picture in my phone like, is a ginkgo tree. I don't know yeah. what that means <laughs> at like, all. And instead of saying TJ, yours says like no empathy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, I, I want to know what my picture is. Um. Actually, I got a new phone, so I don't have any pictures of anybody. Right now. Oh, you what? fucking cocksucker! Sorry, I'm, I I don't even have the ginkgo anymore. So Can't get a Dude, wrestling ring. I have ring. yours, Buff Bagwell. <laughs> so anyway, a uh, like a, a wizard with a cool staff interrupts the wedding because because uh, they're getting wet, married and stuff, a and he uh, he tells us yeah he's he's not a he's not a wizard he tells us he's a <laughs> warlock Dick wizard. Dick wizard. No, no, he specifically says he's a warlock. He is not a di- he's like I am not a dick wizard. <laughs> 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 Um, I am not a dick wizard. <laughs> and they, and they're please, like he talks, please. and he talks about how he's a uh, step back. <laughs> I am not a dick wizard. I am a warlock. <laughs> However, he does talk about his dick very soon. He talks how it's a uh, how well, it's destiny that he has to consummate his wedding with. Uh, should he? Yes. Should he be called a warcock? A warcock. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that, that's the porno parody of the uh, warlock movie. <laughs> they made four of those also that no Warcock vs. Dick Wizard. <laughs> yeah, Big Blow 2018. Uh, like, how is there more than one Warlock movie? Who the fuck has seen Warlock? <laughs> I've seen Warlock because I mean the three of us have seen it. Warlock. But I, well, I don't of course think, cause we're dummies. I don't think oh, yeah. Richard E. Grant has seen Warlock and he's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, uh, the warlock, the the warcock, <laughs> con- <laughs> he conjures a bunch. Yeah, <laughs> warcock is such an awesome name. I can't I'm picturing- believe I'm 32. And I've never heard it said that. I'm picturing it has like uh, like Angus's beard has all those like crazy utility pockets. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, he he conjures a bunch of witches, and they all look like Will Ferrell if he played in House of Wax. That's what all these three women witches look like. Uh, He could have actually got Will Ferrell. The the first second, I was like, oh my god, Will Ferrell's in it as a woman witch. Sweet! But it's it's clearly not Will Ferrell, so it's kind of sad. Anyway, he steals the tits away from everyone, and everyone is sad. Um, so now the two brothers are going to go on a quest to get the tits back, and that's basically the majority of the movie. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Wait, I, I, literally nobody has tits? Oh, no, it's just the, the oh, Zoe Decashell. He doesn't want to say Z! Z. Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, Zoe's right. But really, I mean, she's not really a character in the movie. She's just two pair of tits. So I just want to call her tits. So he just took the tits away. He took the tits away, and everyone's sad. Yeah. He, 
He double mastectomied her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so McBride oh, was a uh, McBride was jealous. What an evil warcock. <laughs> Uh, McBride was really jealous of the pet mechanical bird, uh, and so I think Angus will love this part. He got a oh, bearded like dragon. He got a bearded dragon instead, and got it stoned oh, in the first yay. scene. Yeah, I love bearded dragons. <laughs> I um, have one. Uh, so uh, the, be- the, the best part, the best like besides the first part with Huntley, the best part of this film is that. Um, oh, I thought he was throughout the whole thing. Oh, you're yeah, right. He was uh, venturing with him. Yeah, uh, sorry, my mistake. The <laughs> second best part of this film. Is there's a real actor in this movie besides Noah Huntley, who plays a head knight, but not the original head knight. What he is is he's Noah Huntley's uh, like head knight, so he's his head knight, and he gets really jealous that uh, Noah Huntley wants to be friendly with McBride, and be- because he shows his brother like love and respect, and he never shows him any love any love and respect, and he's just he plays the whole thing like super straight. And so he's like the much needed part of the movie, and it was, it's really like the only good part that's a movie, not just like dick jokes and weed and shit like that. So, so there's that. Uh, well, that yes? was the thing about this movie, the Your Highness. Like it was a lot of weed smoking, right? Not, not like there's a lot less dick jokes and weed smoking than I thought, but there is still a shitload of weed smoking and dick jokes. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was one of the big things about it. Is like it was like a like and like I said, I seen it, but I don't remember it. But I thought it was like a lot to do with weed. Yeah, not, not a lot. No, it, it's not a lot. They just they have a weed reference every twenty minutes or something like that. So it's actually not too bad. That's not crazy. No, it's okay. Um, so so anyway, like once of every part of TJ's movie that he watched on YouTube. Yeah, no, every uh, every other no. part. Yeah, every other part. That's about Broken about eight weed references. Minutes. Yeah. I don't think I even mentioned any weed references. So, um, so anyway, their parties are uh, they're going to you know get uh, get the get Zoe back, um, except like all their party turns into traitors for some reason, and uh, and so it just ends up being like Danny McBride and Z- Z- uh, <laughs> Noah Huntley. <laughs> I can't keep yeah. doing this. Uh, so anyway, anyway, okay, they're they're now it's just those two brothers. They're they're in a forest, and a beautiful naked wood nymph shows up. And McBride wants to have butt sex with her, but instead they get poison darted and fall asleep, and they get placed into a Thunderdome. I don't know if you remember the Thunderdome <laughs> in this film, T- Angus. No. What? I do okay. Not. So it's like, I'm super excited. It's lots of beautiful <laughs> naked women, uh, and uh, and they all made their acting debut here. I'm sure. Debut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There is at least two dozen beautiful tits here, and this giant Sweet. hairless fat dude is in charge of the Thunderdome, and his champion. That's me. Yeah, and his champion is a <laughs> badass called Dastardly, uh, so he has a cool name. Um, Great name. And then, I don't know if you remember this, but then Natalie Portman shows up because she didn't think that Black Swan would be made and wanted money, and so this <laughs> did this movie for no reason because Black Swan eventually happened. And I read that on IMDb, so I know it's true. So she um, was just waiting around for a movie to be made, and she's just like, I need some money. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I'll do this. This is cool. You guys How are paying me. How the fuck does she need money? I mean, she's an actress. She wanted to work. and she They wanted always to get paid. want money. But yeah. not need it. You're right. Like, come You're on. Right. They, they want it. Always. Amidala. They want it. You're right. I wrote. I wrote wanted money. You're right. I didn't. I shouldn't have. Natalie Portman. I apologize. You do not yeah, need money. Wanted. She wanted. Make her money. sound like the greedy cunt she is, not <laughs> the needy cunt she is. Yeah. <laughs> um. So anyway, she ends up killing this like five-headed snake that bites Franco in the leg. I mean uh, Noah Huntley in the leg. <laughs> 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 You're Every time, give you a minute to just go cross his name out through all your notes. <laughs> I tried to find that thing where it'll like change names, but like I was like, "Fuck it, I'll, I'll, I can do it, I can do it." Is it Every time meter? you say Franco's name, like my eyes get big and I just go back from the mic, like, "What? <laughs> Why is he in this? Where okay. is my man?" I won't fuck up again. I promise. Um, I, I so hope you do. There's this, there's this giant snake that was just killed. It was controlled by the fat guy's hand, which was really cool. Like, every finger played a like a giant snake head. So that was cool. Oh, I'd love to be able to do that. Yeah. That was, yeah, yeah. Except, you know, the guy loses his hand. Um, oh. Mm, that's yeah. a problem. It is very a problem. Which hand? Uh, it was... 
Let's see. Hang on. Let me visualize. It was well, his the snake l- hand. Now that's his right hand. Snake thing anymore. Yeah, well, that's called the snake hand. That's I like that. <laughs> um, so what? I, oh yeah. Then she joins their quest to uh, find uh, Zoe. So that's nice. Um, then she takes off her clothes, and McBride calls her an adventurous slut, which is awesome. Um, also, I never knew that Natalie had a great ass. So like, she has DC? a really great ass. Do I see, see anything? Uh, yeah, yeah she, well, no, she's wearing like this really skimpy thong, and she's really nice. Like, I just, I always assumed she was plain, but she looked really good. She, um, do you just see the thong? Or yeah, yeah. Top? She gets like no, some she's, nude in um, a uh, Wes Anderson short that is a prelude for, I want to say, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Wait, there's another, there's a, really? I want to watch that. I love that Or movie. maybe it was the Darjeeling Limited. Or did you get really far away from your phone, man? Yeah, you sound oh, I did. so far. Oh, okay, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, no, imagine no, kick the, back, relax. <laughs> the the Darjeeling movie. Oh, okay, that was good. So, too. like on the it's on the the DVD. It's probably on YouTube. I remember the first time I saw Natalie Portman's ass. He just kicks back and gets away. From <laughs> yeah, the that's what happened. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Um, about six years ago. It was directed <laughs> by Wes Anderson, of all people. Long drag from a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> Magnificent palette, let me, let me tell you. It really starts with just 32 minutes of them looking at each other's <laughs> belly buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so then McBride tries to have sex with her because she has a great ass. Uh, and Hell tells yeah. her of what their quest is. And so she steals from him. She steals his compass that tells him where the unicorn sword is. Oh, they're on a quest Bitch. to get a unicorn sword. That's what I don't care, but that's fine. Right. So uh, <laughs> so Noah Huntley is upset. His wife is going to get raped and f- now, and he finally yells at um, his brother, McBride. Uh, so anyway. Brother McBride. Brother McBride. Uh, and so this is the point where I go, like, I can't believe these people are getting paid millions of dollars to have these wonderful lives of playing dress-up. And I like I turn my head off and get really upset for like ten minutes before I go well, back to the movie. <laughs> didn't Franco actually like write this or McBride? One of them. Oh, wrote they both this wrote it. Yeah, they, they. This is their movie. They paid for it. They. I mean, they they got money for it. They started. What they, the fuck? Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty awesome. Like, um, how do they create such good movies and then just such like garbage? Actually, no, no. I yeah. like this movie a lot. This was actually a good movie. Like, no, it's not a good well, movie. We'll, it's we'll a good the movie. Selling points, I guess. But <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, it's like to watch it. It's like this. Okay, is fun. so if no, I... wait. Are you are you rating it on a normal person scale? Or are you rating it on a Beavis scale? Because this I'm sounds like ten out of ten. Out of the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, okay, hang on. I'm rating it on the. It's Sunday afternoon. I broke my back and I'm high and I want to watch something. That Wait, makes why'd me you laugh. break your back? <laughs> That's my rating Bane scale. Bane broke it. That's, That's my rating scale. Extreme thing. <laughs> so I think. I'm just saying so it would be a real. So, it would be a good so movie on that to, scale. You have to break your back and be on drugs to like this movie. <laughs> That's worse it's than a, having to be Beavis to like it. Uh, Beavis is a retard 14-year-old. I think my scale is better. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Just, like, shoot me up with that morphine duck and put on your highness. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so next we get the my... The fact f- that Bane broke his back is hilarious to <laughs> me. We, we get one of my You're favorite so things. enjoy your highness <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> So Bane, this is Bane approved, is what I'm saying, is what I'm hearing. So, so yes, it is a good movie. Thank you. Um, so we get my favorite thing in cinema next, and we get a montage. Uh, it's like Lord, Lord of the Rings. Uh, they're just walking, so it's like a seven-minute walking scene. It's really cool. They're walking all over the place. It's great. Um, seven-minute hard. Uh, oh, also, we while they're walking, we get this like mo- we get the warlock, the warcock. He keeps drawing pictures of sex. If he was in like third grade, um, oh, he's also a virgin. So oh, yeah, warcock, warcock. Yeah, I was gonna is say they repeated the super bad joke. What's that? The dicks. All the the pictures of penises. Oh yeah, that's what he drew. So yeah, this is a super bad reborn there joke, I guess. <laughs> reborn. Uh, reborn. Super bad reborn. <laughs> uh, so anyway, the uh, <coughs> I think it's a fucking Jack Ryan movie. <laughs> yeah. The <coughs> Jesus, are you smoking? What the fuck? <laughs> we killed him. 
<laughs> we killed him on the last. Yeah, Angus is actually smoking. TJ is actually smoking more. Yeah, I don't smoke one. weed, but I had to to get through your fucking movie. <laughs> so anyway, my back the, is the, also <laughs> broken. The nights that <laughs> I, just, I just bit myself over my chair. I'm surprised you didn't hear the crack. <laughs> well, we heard it through the LG phone. <laughs> <laughs> I have Motorola. Thank you. Um, so, iPhone. so what? So what? The the betraying knights come back and they attack Noah Huntley, and they kill his mechanical bird. Uh, and meanwhile, the other guy tries to get his compass back from uh, Natalie Portman, and like a cool fighting scene happens. And Natalie says the words "burning beaver," which made me watch the scene three times, and I laughed every time. Um, and the, and then uh, she's talked back into joining the quest to save Noah Huntley. Um, Isn't a burning beaver just like a redhead's vagina with hair? TJ, is it? <laughs> they're not. A, they're not on fire. <laughs> they're not on fire. You get the joke, dickhead. All right. So so then they uh, so, so, they find so she, they find she cast their, or credit. Hey, let me finish the movie. Fire. It's almost over. <laughs> Uh, so they find the unicorn braid, uh, blade Beaver by uh, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> uh, they find it by running away and talking to a maze rock thing from like the never ending story. Anyway, it's a cool scene. Uh, while sure. the maze bull rapes McBride, uh, f- uh, Natalie like enchants it with song and then he dies. So it's a cool like maze fighting bull scene. And then McBride cuts off the bull's cock, and he wears it as a necklace for the whole movie. I do remember that part. <laughs> that part was cool. I remember him with the dick around his neck for the rest of the movie. Uh, I do uh, remember that. For some reason, I wrote, so back to France. And I don't think this movie ha- is in France, so I don't know why I wrote that. <laughs> so I think... I don't think so either. Oh, no, I meant, uh, so back to Noah Huntley. That's what I meant to write. Uh, <laughs> the virgin warlock is going to lower him into a spike anally while he while he rapes his virgin lo- wife. So that's the next scene that's happening. And this whole scene lasts like 20 minutes, and it's all like cool fighting and witch magic and shit like that. And also Zoe, big tits girl, turns into an exorcist demon and starts screaming uh, about like getting fucked. And like the virgin warlock can't get his dick hard, so like... <laughs> He doesn't rape her, and then everyone dies in a really oddly pretty okay CGI and bloodfest, and uh, and that's it. He's that's, no dick wizard. That's the movie. Oh, and I wrote that I really think that the only reason this movie was made because Noah Huntley could make up with Zoe for thirty <laughs> like thirty two times. <laughs> that ba- that happened like at least nine times. Noah Huntley and Zoe just made out a lot. <laughs> Anyway, that's my movie uh, featuring uh, Noah Huntley and Danny McBride, um, <laughs> where Noah Huntley played two different knights. <laughs> yeah. Your Your Highness. Honestly, this is one of my favorite things: is that we like gave him another, like a main character to be <laughs> to like anybody listening. They're gonna be like, "Oh man, Noah Huntley is yeah. a star." Of this. What? No, Not I'm... James Franco. No, I'm... Who's James Franco? <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna make them question themselves rather than just think we're out of our minds. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our films, and I believe we have a thing coming up. All right, now that we've gone over all of our Noah Huntley movies, it is time for us to move on to our next segment where we just try to tell the the highlights, the selling points, the best bullet points of each of our Noah Huntley movies. So, Angus, you watched a few commercials. What can you tell us about those commercials? (laughs) I did not write down the bullet points. I fucking forgot about this, but... Um, <laughs> you forgot about the main part? Of the I really did. And it's not the Fuck. main part. The next one's the the real the real thing, but... Uh. Which I may have forgot, too. Um, so, my first movie, it's kind of cool. Black and white. You get to see Noah, like, kind of act, like, in the... in the realm of, like, where he could emote sadness, you know? Yeah, I Through feel Through such you. a short little story, like, yeah. you got to see his range of sadness, which was great. Um, number two, the who ruined Jenny's wedding. You got to see him be, like, kind of a cocky... So like, I guess really fucking... Jenny ruined Jenny's wedding, right? That's Well, that's... Jenny did. Jenny's a cunt because she was cheating on her goddamn husband with the band man. I feel it. To the point they've got matching tattoos on their goddamn fingers, that's which... Up. Like, fucking infuriate 
Why did it? Why did she let it get that far? Like, right, that doesn't cunt. make any sense. Like that's a lot of money for a wedding. Yes. And traditionally, it's the bride's it, parents. It would have been so her like, father. Her father paying for the thing. Yes. Like that's insane. That's like, your inheritance, right there, bitch. Oh, like if I was the dad, I would just not stop punching her in the fucking throat <laughs> at the end of that, and her fucking. Painted, fucking highlighted color throat. I would just be punching her and beating the shit out of the band man with his fucking guitar <laughs> for wasting my fifty thousand. Oh yeah, this you're, out of, you're out of the will. You're out of the will at that point. Like, oh, fuck well, that yes, was the you money. are. That's it. You're done, dude. I would give all my money and my will to Noah Huntley at that point. <laughs> like, I bought you a new <laughs> LG phone for this wedding. You're done. Dude, that was an LG phone plus a TV plus the goddamn watch is how much this man spent. Yeah. Nope, you're done. And this, is, and this isn't with the contract deal. This is where you're paying full price out of yeah. pocket. That's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. You put that in perspective really good. Dude, that is a lot of fucking money. All right. So with that one, you get to see him be like kind of a like a smarmy asshole to his friend, you know, like kind of like the Sherlock Holmes of like, oh, Watson, you fucking retard. Like, this is what happened. Um, What was my third movie? The Woods one? <laughs> yeah. Fencing. You fenced. <laughs> no, I did the, the fencing. One? One. Oh, Jesus. that was his like emotional range. Oh, right. That was the range. You're right. My bad. In the third one you get like the kind of like distant staring off like like kind of like my wife is already dead now yay dead wife <laughs> <laughs> all right so dead wife you get dead wife um noah huntley and then in the fourth one you get post-apocalyptic noah huntley who is just badass as fuck. Totally like, um, like he controls that shit. He's like, I fucking, I don't want your fucking air. You get the fuck out of here. I have the air. Okay, well, that that was my last point. All I right. Went th- like, if we could just cut that when Mike said that and throw oh, me Oh, no, out. I wrote it down already. <laughs> oh, God bless you, sir. All right, so for, for my bullet points, I... Didn't write any. Um, <laughs> what the Did fuck? Did any of us write? Yes! <laughs> y- y- that's hilarious. You're the one who wrote when you didn't have Noah Huntley in your movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I'm, mine was the, best, the most featured Huntley. Thank the, you. the best I can say is that... Um, it is broken into parts, so there's that fun nostalgia of uh, watching a YouTube movie in uh, multiple parts. It takes you back, makes you makes you feel young again. That's um, not really the movie itself. That's the way to watch the movie. Mike, yeah, I could see Mike if maybe he he had a few in him. Um, he he might actually like the song. The Who cares anyway? Because I, I know he uh, he likes garbage. The, the <laughs> band. And I do. I have, I have likes, their Blu-ray concert. He, no, he also uh, likes garbage. I do. Garbage I collect it. I'm in general, so it's all kind of like low-rent garbage. So maybe he might see it's like, oh, well, you know, it's like a garbage song, like a garbage B-side. Maybe. Um, <laughs> that's all. Mike, you just, you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> garbage B-side. So my selling point here is... Uh, Danny McBride and totally not James Franco, but Noah Huntley, they go they go meet <laughs> they go meet a different wizard. This wizard is a, is a seer, like he sees the future and shit. Uh, he's like a priest, but you have to kiss him on the lips so he talk to you. And it turns out that uh, Noah Huntley, uh, he the the priest got Noah Huntley stoned as a kid and molested him. And no- <laughs> Noah Huntley doesn't want Danny McBride to tell his father about this. Also, the the wizard seer is a squid octopus. So, <laughs> molesto octopus is how they get the information to get to the uh, unicorn blade. However, before Very Danny Japanese McBride... Of them. However, Danny McBride and Noah Huntley have to jerk off the octopus before he allows them to leave. So they do. <laughs> but they don't they don't hold eye contact, so it's not gay. That's Does my selling finish? point. 
No, we just kind of cut. But they look ashamed, so yes. Well, that's stupid. It should have finished. <laughs> uh, that is my selling point, and now we are on to... You know, yeah, now that we're done with that worst bullet points ever, um, we'll actually... Hey, mine were that. pretty good. Hey, man, I had a fucking squig octopus molesting Noah Huntley. Mine was pretty fucking good. <sighs> it wasn't well, Noah we'll, Huntley, you cunt! We'll, we'll now move on to our favorite part of the episode. Um, the only one I did good. Where, you where we um, relate <laughs> all the movies that we watched to Paul <laughs> W.S. Anderson's classic from 1997, Event Horizon, in a segment we call... The Horizon Shift. Horizon Shift. 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 Angus, are you gonna shift one or all or any of these? I I'm just gonna do one. Shift okay. me, baby. Um in the Whoa, fuck the me. What was the name of that movie? Hold on. The Fencers? The No, the Carriageway. The one with the old man oh, walking right. yeah. through the forest and shit. That forest that they were recording in was the same forest that Johnny Cage fought Scorpion in, oh. which was one of the which was the movie that Paul W. S. Anderson did before Event Horizon. Is this one of those true things, or is this one that you're lying to me? No, this one's this that's, one's actually true. That's a really good like, one. I, but it doesn't. But it doesn't. It's not really event horizon related except the director did the scene in the same thing so yeah, like i feel kind of shitty about doing it yeah it's all right that's but it's good. the only thing that was there i feel it man i like it. i man. looked at it i was like holy shit this is that fucking same fucking forest i love it i love forests and shit tj um i have kind of a grab bag of uh shifts here i wrote down a okay. few um i, I kind of also have a grab bag so that's good i'll start with the weakest so the weakest is that the uh the tech guy in there who's basically <laughs> expected to fix everything um is british just like um sean pertwee who was the um kind of like their tech guy who was supposed to expected to fix the ship and you know wait so are you saying um, they're not even the same person they're just from the same country <laughs> right um okay. i said i would start with the weakest <laughs> Um, <laughs> next is uh, can, can, can I say something? Yes. Is I thought Mike's would be the worst by saying like Noah Huntley was barely barely in my movie. <laughs> Just <laughs> like oh, that's so good. Event Horizon. Oh, well, I, I have a new that one. Over. I have more. I said it's a grab bag. I saying, start with the weekend. They were from the same country. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> All right, go on. I want to. I want to see the ladder here. Build me the ladder. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next up is Holly Moon. Um, has a friend who kind of looks like an albino black chick. She's very light skinned with kind of blonde curly hair. Anyway, this actress is um, Indra Ove. I don't know if I'm saying her first name right. I'm pretty sure Ove is how you would say her last name. Um, she was also in uh, Resident Evil and Resident Evil Retribution, obviously directed by Paul uh, W. Okay. S. Anderson. Um, bringing that right it. back to Event Horizon. Um, the next is, um, I mentioned that um, Noah and his buddy broadcast the tape of Samantha's death. Um, but they actually, like, someone ends up mailing it to Noah. And initially Noah gets it as this garbled tape of death, kind of like the, you know, the video where uh... they see all the crazy stuff going on. And then later they see more of the video cleaned up. And so, like, he sees her die, but in all garbled, you know what's going on fashion and then he sees it cleaned up and sees that death um i guess this might have been in the the best bullet points but we do have a nice scene of noah weeping at his sister's death um but i oh. saved that for now because it had to tie in with the shift um and uh, my strongest connection though is that the the virus the thing that's in there um i mentioned that it was that it was a program designed to train soldiers but what it was actually meant to do was to tap into their subconscious and find their darkest fears and bring Ooh. their darkest fears against them oh, so they shit. had to the program was designed to make them conquer all of their fears wow. obviously just like the event horizon threw everyone's fears and guilt back at them I like it. Yeah, it was, it's really you, good. You, you made up for it in the end yeah, there. That was a good I, yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was probably. Other than I was like, that was like the sugar that's I started yelling there. at you. I was like, oh, that's the weak one. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, since uh, since I obviously couldn't have used Noah Huntley, I instead used a man named Mark Anthony Newman, 
who did stunts for Event Horizon as Lawrence Fishburne and Richard T. Jones's Whoa. stunt doubles. Oh got, shit! And in this one film, black guy to double two black. Yeah, actors. yeah. And in, who in don't this, look anything alike or yeah. not the same build, like, anything. We need a. And he actually, guy he can actually kind of black dudes. We could get one black guy to do that. <laughs> For anybody who ever watched Dexter, he kind of looks like Sergeant Dokes from the good seasons of Dexter on on Showtime. So I mean, more people um, have watched that than Yes, dear. So that's true. Um, <laughs> and uh, the weird, the weird part either. is, he also did stunts in this movie. But I don't don't remember any black people. I only remember a bunch of Asians. So he did I assume Noah he was like stunts. Noah met him on the set of Event Horizon, really liked him, and says, "You're doing oh my all God. my stunts from now wait. on, mate." You're totally right because some of them wore a bunch of night shit like on their faces. So you're right. <laughs> that's, he could have been Noah's Huntley's stunt guy. Um, all right, and if that's not enough for you guys, we also have. I also have David Warren, who was a draftsman in Event Horizon, and is the art, the art director for Your Highness. So a big step up. That's nice. What's a draftsman? Yeah, uh, TJ. Oh, that one, a draftsman. I don't know, but if you're saying he's now the art director and he was a draftsman, that sounds like maybe oh, there yes. was an art director who was saying, here's what we need for the sets, and as a draftsman, he would yeah. draw up the plans. He is a fucking architect. Um, I thought that was like art coordinator or some shit. He well, might have yeah, just one of the grunts. Shit. Grunts drawing plans. You know, someone tells him we need to do this with such and such measurements. Here's yep. my, you know. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. next we have uh, That's what a, a man. drafter does is take rough concepts and turns them into uh, practical building blueprints. So next we have a man by the name of John Flemons. He went from a key grip in Event Horizon to, drum roll, a key grip in Your Highness or whatever movie I'm watching. Wow. And <laughs> this dude has an incredibly long career as key grip in like two movies a year since 1984. It's amazing. Wow. I'm hoping I'm hoping Angus can get a hold of him for us so we can talk to him. I Well, I was so dedicated that we could get Noah on this show. But goddamn key grip, <laughs> if I can't get a key grip on our show, I'm yeah. quitting. I am quitting to be this fair, show if I cannot get a key grip. Longer you, than we've been alive. So If you can't get a key grip on this show, Brett's going to unlike us. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So my very last... Brett, don't do it, man. My very last of Horizon Shift is a man by the name of Mark Southworth. Dude, everybody worked on this movie. Who went from stunting, <laughs> who went from stunting with Mark Anthony in Event Horizon to being Mark Anthony's stunt coordinator here in Your Highness. And, uh, like, oddly enough, I am only a halfway down my list of people that work together. So I just what? stopped. Oh, get, get I just decided. No, I decided. Is... I decided to stop looking it up because I got bored. Even this though is like James curious. Franco loves Event Horizon as much as we do. And he wanted to hire as many people who have worked on Event Horizon. Oh, that's actually a weirdly possible, like, weird conspiracy thing. Well, I mean, now we, we got to get James Franco on the show. I was going to say, I think we could get James Franco now. I bet we could get James Franco before we get the key grip guy. <laughs> what if we get James Franco before, yeah, the key grip and Noah Dude, Huntley? <laughs> I really think we could now. Like, if I told him I got Tommy Wiseau's, like, signature tattooed on me... Oh, like, my God, you're right. Like, Horizon podcast? Well, we have to now. And we so. do Event Horizon? Yes. So be ready yes, on the season two premiere. It. We're going to have uh, James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, that is some promising. He's going to sit in for the entire episode. <laughs> James Franco, <laughs> Noah Huntley, and a key grip. That's uh, episode one of season two, 16 Out Cinema, no, no, early no, 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 2019. No. Well, uh, anyway, no. we have to talk about T- whoever. 2019. Remembers. 2019. For our Horizon event month he will do a commentary with us for event horizon jesus christ no no by by september we're gonna have paul ws anderson lawrence fishburne and sam neill commentary with us because we're getting not only that we're gonna fucking do it in space we're we're gonna get rid of (laughs) (laughs) we're taking this podcast to a whole new level boys we're gonna be not only the best event horizon th- uh, podcast we're gonna be the best uh space i don't even know I'm, we get one I'm, like from a guy we don't personally know and we're off into space <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's all the horizon from here, baby. All right, let's roll. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's vote some winners. Uh, Angus, Angus, win us. Do us. Win me. Oh, uh, shit, man. Like, I loved everything Mike had. Like, he had every person ever involved in the movie. Oh, my God, I feel a butt coming. God damn it. With his thing. But... <laughs> I, I, I've seen the movie and it was pretty forgettable and also the fact that it's not really Noah Huntley <laughs> as James Franco yeah. <laughs> it, it kind of ruins it for me so I, I gotta lean towards TJ's shitty song repeat he had a good shift, that shift was in great. 16 parts alright TJ what about you sir um, I'll, be, I'll be quick and to the point um, I, I was sold on two things first seeing different aspects of noah um secondly the fact that uh if i I pick angus and i would say i want to watch those things that's 16 minutes of my time which sounds perfect so i pick (laughs) angus in a series of commercials (laughs) (laughs) all right well i was uh definitely like 100 percent leaning towards uh angus and his wonderful display of uh creativity in his four films he watched but uh that was really the perfect horizon shift and so obviously tj wins because hopefully he'll stop bitching about how much he loses so tj um, is the winner speaking I of he still lost oh what or did he? Wait, no, yeah, I voted. You for voted for him. Yeah, so I, I, my I bad. I forgot. Um, yeah, I'm like, wait, well, I got so confused. I was like, wait, where was I my attention again? So um, <laughs> speaking of me complaining how much I lose, I did oh, tally Jesus. up our scores for the season. Yes. Um, oh, nice. I wasn't, I, I wasn't the loser that I thought I was. Um, if You're I'm, still a loser. Well, I, I have won five of these episodes. Oh. Um, now I'm counting even our special episodes, the black exploitation episode included. Oh, of and, course. Yeah. Um, any, any of the special episodes, obviously. Casino. <laughs> um, so I have one to five. <laughs> okay. Um, Michael, you've called me the loser, but bro, we're tied. We're tied at five. Which makes both of us losers to Angus is seven. Hell yeah. <laughs> I really should have. If I had known this, I would have voted for Angus out of spite. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was, you did good keeping that to yourself. <laughs> Damn it, yeah. uh, Mike! You should have done some research, my man. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked up. It's on me. Um, and now I, I do have some themes I'm looking at. I, I, you know, can I just say thank you guys for making me the season one winner of oh, sixteen yeah. ounce cinema? Yeah, it really is our I, fault, isn't it? I, I, I really. <laughs> Ah, fuck, I wish I had a speech prepared. I just wasn't expecting this. But thank you all. Thank everyone. Thank Brett. Thank (laughs) everybody else that listens. I love you all, man. (laughs) All right, let's get to the theme. What what are we doing next next year? Oh, well, um, you know what? Uh, This is one actually that uh, my wife actually recommended. So I have a long list. Um. But I think this one, especially because of the way this episode started, um, and I think this is going to be a good one to get us out the gate strong in season two. Um, there's a lot of, um, like, um, it's a, a rich environment, I guess you would say, for, for humor. So the theme I am picking is movies starring a wrestler, not The Rock. Dude, that okay. was uh, what is with you and Angus? I was gonna pick that next. You guys are like reading my fucking mind. <laughs> we just Wait, keep like, stealing like, your exactly ideas. that movie starring the yes! Rock, not The Rock. I'm not even fucking joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. Because I wanted movies, but I was like, well, The Rock is great. We're all gonna pick The Rock. So fuck that. <laughs> now we're all picking Vader. <laughs> We're gonna find the three movies he's in, and we're gonna. Dude, he would have been such a great bad guy in like the Marine Seven or something. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, by the way, the Marine the Marine Five is out, and it features Shawn Michaels. So I'm just letting. What I would love is Daddy Daycare Six with Vader. Who's in the Marine Four? I've only seen the first three Marines. I didn't. I don't know, but number five is uh is uh um the Wiz, the Wiz and Shawn Michaels. I know Ted DiBiase's son was in the Wiz, or you mean the Miz? Oh, the Miz. Miz. Yeah, the Miz. Miz is in three. I saw Miz. three, and I like. Oh, he's in, he's in number four too. So I hope he didn't rip, die. I he's... guess he's going on in it, in it now. I haven't yeah. followed the Marine very much after <laughs> the first three. Um, 
Yeah, are the we all just gonna watch the Marine? We're all just gonna pick Marine entries. Ah, oh, shit. Ooh, I got mine. I got mine. It's I hope so it's not good. See No Evil Two because I'm I, I'm eyeing that one. Well, I have Seen No Evil Two and I want to watch it, but I won't watch it for the show. Well, All we right. could be here twenty minutes fantasizing about what wrestling movies we're gonna watch. Yeah, we have two months um, to think about it, or probably two dude, days. Oh my god! And fight Mike, over Mike, it. Yes, yeah, Angus, what? What? Well, don't tell them what, what we're gonna major do. Major pain. Oh my god! Uh, you can have Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> oh that's, my god! That's what you are in my phone still is Zam Bam Bigelow. He's yeah. still Zam Bam on my phone. <laughs> well, shit, that's almost a given, but I'm still gonna look into this. <laughs> Well, it's been a fun season. It's so. been an awesome yes. season. Uh, we're glad you're all here. You're, we're glad uh, a few of you are still listening. Um, we'll see you. They're not. In a couple months. Well, hey, can I give a Oh, yes. yeah, you do your thing. thing. Yes, everybody. Hi. Thank you for the wait, great Wait, wait, wait. Can you do of... it in a Noah Huntley voice? Hello, everybody. <laughs> I can't. I don't do British. Let's not do that. Let's let's do Angus. No, do you. not insult Noah I, yet. Let's see if he replies to us eventually. First. Yeah, he 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 might get pissed if he hears my impersonation. All right. So, anyways, everybody, thank you guys again for the great year of um, listening to our podcast or not listening, whatever. If you just joined now, welcome. Um, I would like everybody to go to our Facebook page. Uh, follow us. It'll keep you updated with our iTunes, our Google Play, our YouTube, so you can follow every episode. And come as out a surprise, whatever. coming out Ooh. coming out the gate here for next to you, we're gonna have a fucking Reddit. Oh, Ooh, we're doing a Reddit. Yes, that's news to me, my friend. Done. Oh, everybody's just gonna call us faggots. <laughs> like, <according laughs> yeah, that's to the gonna Reddit be great. Yeah. To, that's all that's gonna be <laughs> said about us. Oh, cool. <laughs> handle that at least they're talking but, about us um i everybody please go subscribe um leave us reviews everything else thank you again for all your support um especially you brett you're my man um i'm sweaty i <laughs> <laughs> i i also want to say that Jesus, man, we didn't win the fucking Grammy yet. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I know, I know. Fuck. And I'm like, what the hell? What, what's wrong uh, with man, me? Man, this means a lot to me, dude. This means right, a lot. Go, go, I also, see. I also won a lot of these, so it, I'm, I, it's, it's special. It is special. I'm just fucking with you. Let's go. Let's hit me. Um, <laughs> we hope to have like merch and stuff by next year. Hopefully, we can get a member of Event Horizon to talk to us. At least in text, um, so we can read what they've said to something. us. Something. Just something. But, um, we're so gonna have cock a... Cock picks, why not? Give it to us. By the... <laughs> I love cock picks. Everybody send your cock picks. Uh, we have private Facebook messaging. We'll take it. Noah sliding uh, into our DMs. For the... <laughs> For the, we have one final episode for the year, which we're going to wrap up with a best of episode. And if anybody out there has any bits that you really like, um, please send it to us. We will put it on the show and we will give you a shout out for it. Again, we love you all and thank you for listening. Goodbye. See you. Bye. I remember the first time I saw Natalie Portman's ass. Including Brett from Kansas City. Hey, shout out to Brett.